Police trucks, what are what are they governing that? Sixty-four. Hold up. Sixty-four cent for a lease truck governing? Look at my face on that when she said that. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm tripping, man. This is crazy. Sixty-four cent for a lease truck? Come on now. Guys, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yo, I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel. If you like videos like these and other videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell so you can get more videos like this in your notification. Well, what's up? What's up? You guys, I put it in my community to ask you guys who you want me to call next. You guys have spoken. And a couple of you guys said, yo, why don't you give Trans Am a holler? And I'm like, hmm, all right, let's, let's go ahead and do that. But before we give them a call, let's find out a little bit of information about Trans Am, all right? So, Trans Am, our noble purpose. Trucking is a noble profession, and the drivers and the truck drivers are noble people. Let's go into, uh, let's go in to see what they got to offer. All right, so they got a sign-on bonus of $2,500. They got a Kenworth T680, which is equipped with a Packard engine. They got all their trucks as automatics. Inside the trucks, they have condo cabs, dual bunks, refrigerators, CD players, auxiliary power, inverters, and satellite radio equipped. Uh, they have a driver retention bonus as well as a tuition reimbursement program you know the standard qualifications and this is where they hiring out of so if you guys live in this gray area right here all this gray they're looking for you they're looking for you in this area right here except for louisiana and except for maine but if you stay down in florida because i know a lot of you guys stay down in florida and y'all really want to know who's hiring out of florida well, there you have it, Trans Am. Uh, let's go to the Safer website and see what, what, what Safer has to say about Trans Am. All right, so the inspections and crashes in the U.S. Inspections, they have for their vehicles, 871. For their drivers, 1,887. Uh, they've been out of service for their vehicles 172 times, and their drivers been out of service 30 times. Uh, the percentage for the drivers is 1.6, which is low because the average is 5.51. And out of service for their vehicles is 19.7, and the average is 20.72, which is pretty good. Let's see what some of the reviews on Trans Am. Oh. Ooh, not good. 2.6 stars out of 342 reviews. Uh, a couple of drivers. This driver says driver manager was good. They promised no less than 2,400 miles, but I was only getting 1,700. Uh, this guy says it's horrible. This guy say never worked for this company. This guy say not a good company especially for experienced drivers this guy said oh oh my god okay uh is there anyone that can give this uh can they give this a better rating can we find a better rating all right here we go okay we got all right we got a cup we got a few we got a few okay 5.5 this one says great great company to work for they have paid vacations they have great incentives okay good company fantastic business with impressive service and attitudes excellent people all right all right so we got a mitts we got a mitts bag you know you guys got to take these these reviews with a grain of salt all right y'all really do y'all really do all right well without further ado Let's get into the call.
Sandy Recruiting. This is Laura. How can I help you? Hey, Laura. How's it going today? Hi, I'm doing very good. Thank you. How can I help you? All right. Well, I was just, uh, well, my name's Sean, and uh, I'm in a I'm in a Facebook group, and we was we was talking about uh, 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 trucking companies. Um, Trans Am seems to pop up, <laughs> so I wanted to uh, give you guys a call and and find out what you guys got to offer. You you got a couple of minutes to to see what you guys can can offer me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have you have a Class A CDL, correct? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, and um, and so you have tractor trailer experience as well. I'm assuming. Yes, yes, I do. Perfect. Um, yeah. So, would you be interested in uh, company driving positions or independent contracting? Well, I'm, I want to find out about both. Um, okay. I want to I want to find out about both. So, what what the company? Do you guys? Uh, well, let me ask you this because I'm I'm also I'm also speaking for uh, a couple of other people because the information that I get, you know, I'm going to take it back with me to my Facebook group and and uh, let them know as well. Um, do you guys offer um, a school or or a school sponsor for for people that don't have their CDLs? Do you guys? Yeah, for people that just got their CDL, as long as it's within thirty, or sorry, within ninety days of graduating truck driving school, we would be able to uh, them through our training program. Oh, okay, but what about what about if they don't have their license at all? Do you guys have a have a company sponsor school? No, unfortunately, we do not. Oh, okay, okay. So, all right. So, um, what's uh, what what's some of the positions that you guys have have available for 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 us drivers? Um, what kind of you said? What kind of position? Yes, uh, over the road, so local, have, regional. So it depends on where you live. Um, that's the main thing. Um, where do you live? I'm out of Ohio. Okay, so we have um, a long haul over the road. Mm -hmm. um, so typically out for two to four weeks at a time. We only haul freight on the east half of the United States. So the farthest west you go is Colorado. Okay. Um, we haul box beef, chicken, pork, and beer, um, so general commodities. And our drivers are averaging between 2,500 and 3,000 miles each week. And then as far as pay, it really depends on what position you're interested in. So I would just need to know, do you want me to go over the independent contracting or the company driving? Uh, well, what's the, what's the CPM for the company driving on, let's say, an OTR driver? Uh, so all we have is over the road. Um, right. For the company driver, um, is thirty two cents per mile. We offer twenty five hundred dollars sign on bonus, um, and all of our equipment is top of the line Kenworth T six eighty. They're all four years old or newer. Walk in condos, ATU units, inverters, refrigerator and freezer, voice navigation, and in cab as well. Really. Okay. Um, let's. Let's rewind for a second. Uh, I'm a four-year driver, so will I still be starting at thirty-two cent a mile? Um, for our over-the-road drivers, um, for company, unfortunately, that is what um, our starting is for all drivers. E even the f even an experienced driver such as myself that been that been driving for four years. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could we could start you out as an independent contractor. We start them out at a dollar oh four, plus we pay for the fuel surcharge. We have multiple bonuses that go along with it, like a, a monthly five hundred dollar bonus as well. Okay. Um, for pre-employment, do you guys what do you guys test for? Hair follicles or urine? It's a urine. Oh, urine test. Okay. Um. So. I got okay. So, I was I was in a conversation um, with uh, with with another company, and we was we was discussing about uh, uh, drivers' history, right? Um, 
the topic came up about uh, job jumping. Do you guys have a policy on on drivers that that had more that had a few jobs in the past? Do you guys look at that? Um, so it depends. Like if you have you know eight jobs in a one year period, mm -hmm. then that's not going to look too good. It's not going to look like you're very reliable. Um, uh, it's not. It's not something that will, you know, uh, necessarily stop you from coming to work with us. It's right. something that we'll consider. Like, is this really what we want to get ourselves into? Like, do we want to hire this person that has eight to ten jobs in a twelve month span? Okay. Okay. So it's like, that's not. That's not. That doesn't look very good on, on that person. Okay. Um. What about for felonies? Uh, for felons, what what what's your policies on on felons? Um, we are we are felon we are felony friendly. So, mm -hmm. um, if you have felonies, it's not really going to hinder you unless um, you know you get killed in murder or murder. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, orientation. Where where's the orientation held, and uh, are are we paid for orientation? Um, it depends on what position you're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, are you interested in company or independent contracting? Uh, what about what about well, what what what's what's the orientation for for leasing? Um, so we would pay for your travel to get over to Kansas while you're here. We'll pay for your hotel. The hotel will have free breakfast, and then we'll cater and lunch each day. Orientation is two days. We'll pay you $130 total. Um, and then after that, you'll be out on the road in your own truck driving solo. Okay. As far as uh, as far as the hotel stay, would I be in my own hotel room? Um, no. So we double book the room, so you would have a roommate if we're paying for it. Otherwise, you can pay for your own hotel room if you want a private room. Oh, uh, we we okay. Um, okay. So as far as as far as leasing goes, since uh, since look like look like we'll make more money on the lease side, um, what's the um, what's this what's what's the payment for the truck every week? Um, so it ranges. It depends on what truck you get. Um, so all of our trucks we're leasing are three years old or newer, um, but it ranges between six eighty and six ninety five. A week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this a walk away lease? Um, it is. As long as you give us a two week notice and return the truck back to our terminal, then yes. Um, but if you don't use the van and the equipment, or, um, then we wouldn't allow you to come back to our company or anything like that. Right. 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 Um, so for leasing, what's the what's the CPM for? For, what's the CPM for leasing? A dollar oh four plus the fuel surcharge. A dollar oh four plus the fuel surcharge. Yes. Okay. Um, will I be able to look on the load board for my own loads, or would I be subject to a to a dispatcher? So you will not have forced dispatch. Um, but you will have a dispatcher. Okay. And home time is up to you as long as you give us an eight day notice so we can get you a load headed home. Okay, okay. So, but if the dispatcher dispatch my loads and if it's not something that I like or anything like that, then I can, I can definitely say no, uh, get me something else better, right? Right. Okay, but you guys don't have you guys don't have a load board for the drivers to to look and see what loads are available. Right, that's correct. Okay. Um you guys have a you guys have a team? Is is uh can can we uh now this is the question for the company side, so uh can you guys offer teams? Um, we do not. It's all solo. Okay. 
Do you guys require hazmat for uh, for drivers no. that don't have it? No, we don't. If I if if I decide to get my hazmat, will you guys help me pay for it? No, we don't. Okay. You guys offer pay advances? Um, yes, we do, but I don't know a lot of the information on that just because they don't want me to give out the wrong information, but I know we do. Okay, I got you. Uh, for the lease drivers, it's a 1099, right? So, but are we... Yes. Um, can we still be afforded the same benefits as a company driver there, or no? Um... Like health benefits? Like health, uh, vision, dental. Yeah, we don't, Train Dam does not offer um, health, vision, dental, that kind of thing. Um, however, one leasing, the company that we lease the truck through, um, I believe they have a, um, like a company that you can pay into and, and go with them for like a health insurance. Okay. Um, but what about what about the company side? You guys offer it for the company drivers, right? Um, yes. Okay. All, we offer the health insurance benefit, the full and K health insurance, um, vision, dental, all of that. Okay. Uh, vacations, holiday pays for for company drivers. Uh, vacations, yes, yeah. not holiday, not holiday pay. What about uh? How often do layovers happen? Um, well, we're primarily drop and hook, so not often. Not often. Okay. Okay. Uh, other than uh, other than the, bit, the benefits that I mentioned, what other benefits do you guys offer? Do you guys offer four hundred one k stuff like that? Yes, four hundred one k life insurance. Mm -hmm. All right. You all you already mentioned um, that you're primarily drop and hook. Um, this is more for no the touch. pretty much uh, pretty much you guys reimburse now this is for company I'm, I'm still asking questions about the company side uh, do you, well this could probably be for the lease side too so do you guys offer reimbursement for scales and tolls yeah if it's for the company driving um, yeah we offer that as well so we'll pay everything involving anything that you have to put pay tolls mm -hmm lumpers all of that we pay for um what about the lease side or the uh, the lease side anything involving the trailer we pay for okay if it's the truck um, you would be responsible for paying for. okay okay uh how the miles calculated i'm sorry how how's the miles how are they calculated like is it calculated by uh we pay practical miles Practical miles? Okay. Yeah, so we'll pay for fully loaded energy miles, mm -hmm. um, and then we pay practical miles. Now, as far as as far as far me being the lease driver, I can, uh, and I decide to go home, I, I could pretty much stay stay out for as long as I want, being that I'm a lease driver. But for a company driver, what's your guys' home, uh, home policy, home time policy? Um, so you have four days a month that you can go home. Some drivers go home for two days every two weeks, and some drivers go home for four days every four weeks. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned about the, uh, what about pet and rider? Uh, pet and rider policy? Um, for, uh, the company driving position? Yes. Um, so for the company driving position, we allow riders on the truck. It's just a $19 fee, so that way we can have um, insurance on your passenger. And they have to be 10 years old or older. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do not allow pets on company trucks. All right. What about as far as lease drivers? Can can they are they offered the same? Um. Yeah. So we we do offer um, the same thing for the. Uh, the rider, um, but for the pets, um, we we would allow you to have a pet, um, and then you'd have to you know process and deal with the HR to um, 
get all of that information and you'd have to go and talk with one lead team to make sure that you set up how to pay the twenty five hundred dollars. All right. Now you uh you you mentioning uh one leasing. Um so that's an outside leasing company uh that that we have to uh have to go through to uh lease our trucks from? Yes, it's our sister company. So they're a separate company. Um so they we lease the trucks through through one leasing. Okay. Uh, through through them, is it uh is it money down, no money down, credit checks? How how that work with them? Um, right, yeah. So it's no money down, no credit checks. That's it. Yeah. No money oh, down okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So other than. Other than TSIS 80s, and I'm leasing through one leasing, uh, do they have any other uh, trucks available for me to uh, choose from? Um, no, our entire fleet is Kenworth T680s, and they're all three years old or newer automatic transmission. Okay. Uh, is one leasing is the, is the only company that you guys go through as far as uh, leasing a truck? You guys uh, go through other uh, other options. No, just one leasing. Okay, one leasing. Okay, all right. Um, all right. Do you guys have uh, drive cams inside of the inside of the vehicles? We do. We have one pointing at the driver's seat and one pointing out the front. Is and is they're activated and you jerk the wheel or um, you know, press the brakes hard and they record. Um, I can't remember if it's eight seconds before, twelve seconds after, or twelve seconds before, eight seconds after. What about um, what about um, for the lease trucks? Are they are are they in the lease trucks as well? Yeah, all of our trucks, lease trucks, company trucks. What's the what's what's the company trucks governing that? Um, I believe it's sixty two. <laughs> Sis, wait, sixty-two. Yes, that's correct. What, what about what about the, what about the, lease trucks? What are, what are they governing that? Sixty-four. Hold up, sixty-four cent for a lease truck governing? Look at my face on that when she said that. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm tripping, man. This is crazy. Sixty-four cent for a lease truck? Come on now. Okay. Um. Of course, if I'm a if if I'm a lease or a company driver and I'm over the over the road, I can't take the truck home, right? Um. I'm sorry. What was the question? I said, uh, <laughs> if if I'm a lease, you know, if either either I'm a lease driver or a company driver, I I can't take the truck home, right? Yeah, we, because we wouldn't have anywhere for you to park it because we only have three terminals, so we were requiring you to take the truck home with you and have a safe place to park it. Okay. Um, well, for a driver that hasn't, well, for a driver that has his CDLs already, but he hasn't been driving for a while, do you guys offer a refresher course? No, we do not. Okay. All right. Um... Do you have any? Do you have anything else that you can offer? Uh, uh, that you can offer that I haven't that I haven't touched on. Um, no, I think uh, you uh, covered a lot of it. Okay. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. If you're interested, we can fill out an application. Well, no, I uh, no, I'm 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 not ready to fill out an application yet. But if you like, uh, I could give you my email, and you can send me, uh, you know, send me your contact information. So, you know, when I take this information back to, you know, the people that might be interested in coming over to, over to Trans Am or something like that, you know, they can they can contact you directly. If that's all right. Okay. 
All right. Uh, you um, can... Perfect. I'll send over an email there, and if um, you have any questions, feel free to email me. I I will do that. I will do that. You did mention that that you guys offer a sign-on bonus, uh, twenty five hundred dollars. How is that paid out? Yes. Over the uh, um, so it's paid out once you complete your first thirty days. Mm -hmm. We'll give you um, your first installment of six hundred and twenty-five dollars paid out in four installments. Okay. Um, since you mentioned uh, leasing, uh, can you tell me like the average drivers that come with you guys, even the guys that that come out of school, uh, they they they're interested in going right into leasing with you guys. Is there any is there any more benefits to leasing on with you guys versus being a company driver with you guys other than the CPM? Well, I mean, you'd have your own authority, so like, um, like you would be essentially running your own business. Okay. So that's like the primary uh, benefit of it. Okay. Um, but I would say our company, as far as like how many lease drivers or company drivers we have, I'd say it's pretty split right down the even, like even down the middle. We have just as many company drivers as we do lease drivers. But mm -hmm. I know like as far as our lease drivers, um, uh, like last year we had over a million dollars paid in lease completion bonuses. Okay. Um, and we had over 400 drivers complete their leases last year alone. So I'd say that they were pretty successful and, um, you know, they continue to come back and release different trucks and, um, and all of that. So. Again, you, you did mention that this is a, uh, this is a walkaway lease, right? I mean, if, if it's not working out for me or something like that, uh, I can bring the truck back. Uh, what would be, what, what would be the policy on the, on the company side as well? So let's say, I'm not, you know. So, yeah. You for the the lease, like, um, you would have to make sure you give your two week notice and return the truck back to us in order for that, like, to be how you said a walk away lease. Okay. What about what about for a company? So you, you would have to make sure you give us a two week notice. Like that's the most important part there. Is that you definitely need to make sure you give us a two week notice. Okay. What about what about for a company driver? Same thing with him. Uh, he will have to give a two week notice to as as well uh, before he uh, bring the bring the truck back. Yeah, give us a two week notice and and then uh, return the truck back to our terminal. Um, and like it's also important to make sure that you return the truck back to the terminal because you know you don't want a truck abandonment on your on your record or anything. Right. Right. Uh, all right. Well, what's your name again? Uh, my name is Laura. Laura. Well, hey, hey, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the time um, of going over uh, Trans Am with me. Again, like I said, the information that I got that I got from you, which was good today, I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and take that back to uh, to my Facebook group as well as my other groups that I'm in. Uh, give them the uh, information because you know there's a lot of new drivers that comes out every day and first thing they do they come you know they come to the group or they come to the channel or or anything like that and the first thing they always ask is what company should I <laughs> you know should I go with and you know they just you know come and try to get some information so what I try to do is you know as far you know as for myself you know what I'm saying as for myself, I'd say, hey, well, I'll just go ahead and speak for them as well. So I really do appreciate the time. Um, and uh, like I said, I would definitely give that information out. So um, thank you. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day. I do, too. You have a blessed day as well, ma'am. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is it. That is it. What do you guys think of that call right there? Trans Am. Woo! I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Um, an experienced driver such as myself, with the years that I got behind me, 
That's not going to work for me. <laughs> not going to work for me at all. As far as their leasing program, I mean, a dollar nine. I mean, do you, do you guys think a dollar nine cent is? I don't know. But as far as company goes, thirty-two cent. Yeah, I mean, hey, I don't know. I mean. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think of the car though? What do you guys think of the car? If you guys want information about Trans Am, I do have Lori's contact information. So just get at me at lockoutmen at gmail.com. I will forward you the information and you can go ahead and talk to her and see if it's the right fit for you. They are felon friendly. So I that's that's a good thing. I mean that's that's a good thing, right? You know, can't find companies that would give you a chance, then Trans Am might be the one that'll give you the chance. Like I said, it's, it may not be for me and several other experienced drivers, but for new drivers that's coming into this business and that want to really get their feet wet, then Trans Am might be the move for you. Good conversation, good information. If you guys want to know about want to know more about it let me know and i can get the information to you with that said who else do you want me to call who do you want me to call next get your suggestions in now hit me up in the comments below let me know who you want me to call next don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that bell don't forget to hook your boy up with some coffee you feel me coffee